Place removable markers in first stitches on front and back. These will be helpful at the end. Thread your live yarn onto a tapestry needle. Bring the ends of your work together. Insert purlwise and slip it off the needle. Insert knitwise and leave this stitch on the needle. Draw yarn through. This beginning bit can be finicky, so take your time and keep everything untangled. On the needle closer to you, insert knitwise and drop it off the needle. Insert purlwise, leave that stitch and the needle, and draw your yarn through. Repeat to continue grafting. Oops, this stitch is on wrong. I'll just flip it around. You can start to see how the ends are being joined invisibly. Here's how it's coming together. The grafted stitches should be the same size as the ones around them. Here's after I've grafted almost half of the stitches. When you get close to the inside of the tube, you'll have to adjust it to keep working. Turns out I cut my yarn tail too short and I ran out. No problem, I'll just get another length of yarn and start working with it instead. When I finish grafting, I'll just weave in the extra yarn tails with duplicate stitch. When there are just a few stitches left, I'm going to make use of those stitch markers. I'll drag my needle closer to the other end so I can put the marked stitch onto the needle. Then I'll drag the needle back so it's ready to work. I'll do the same with my other needle. Then I'll graft those last few stitches. When just one is left, I can drop it off the needle.
I can now remove the markers. Now I've just got to weave in my ends using duplicate stitch so they disappear. Then I'll insert the needle into the inside of the tube and draw it through. I'll trim that tail long enough so that it stays inside. 